It may sound a bit like science fiction, but a project that would allow winds from New Mexico to power homes and businesses in Arizona just received federal approval. Cronkite News reporter Sydney Schumann spoke with one of the project's designers, as well as an environmental group that is concerned about the impacts this large structure could have on wildlife. The Sunzia Southwest Transmission Project would lay about 515 miles of transmission lines for renewable energy like wind and solar power. The project would sell inexpensive clean energy to electric companies in Arizona and other neighboring states such as California. The challenge with developing clean sources of energy is where are you going to put that and to do it in a way that minimizes the impact on the environment. Though it may not look like much, I'm here at the Pinal County substation, which is one of the major hubs in our regional transmission grid. And this is where the Sunzia project is going to tie into and connect to the large grid that they already have, allowing up to a million new homes access to renewable energy. However, Shepard thinks that certain parts of the project have been overlooked. I don't believe the process so far has done an adequate enough job of identifying the impacts and proposing ways to mitigate it. When you want to put up a, a very large, huge transmission line, you're not going to please everyone along the way. And we've gone through an exhaustive process to determine where the sort of least impact is to the environment. However, Shepard is still concerned about its effect on habitat fragmentation, bird strikes and mortality, and the introduction of invasive species but gets thinks the line's benefits outweigh its disadvantages. Is there a perfect solution? No. This is a very large project, and there are, are always going to be some impacts that we can't avoid. The project still has to receive permits from New Mexico and Arizona before any construction can begin. The project has been nine years in the making. Southwestern Power Group hopes to begin construction in the next two or three years and be completed by the year 2020. Live in downtown Phoenix, Sydney Schumann, Cronkite News.